Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to some of the world's biggest stars and some of my favourite people too. And we've got one for you today. The Yardbirds were one of the greatest groups ever with some classic tracks including For Your Love, Heart Full of Soul, Shapes and Things and of course Train Kept a Roll In. Well, we've got Jim McCarty on the phone today. He's the guitarist and they're back on tour through 2016. You can find out more by putting in the Yardbirds tour into Google and it'll come up. And I'm delighted to say that Jim joins us on the phone now. How are you doing? Good, very well, thank you. Where are we calling you? You're in foreign parts. <clears throat> I'm in uh, the south of France. It sounds very romantic, doesn't it? Well, it certainly sounds sexier than where I am, just outside Nottingham. <laughs> oh, OK, yes. What's your life like? I mean, I look at who you've worked with, the places you've performed, the people you've performed with. It seems pretty romantic to me, never mind where you're staying now. Well, it, 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 it always sounds romantic, and... I must say, I have had moments, you know, but um, uh, overall, it, it's quite tough because you're you're travelling all around. You can't, you know, necessarily stay anywhere for more than a couple of nights at the most. Um, and you might go to Lake Tahoe, like I play sometimes, uh, like I did last year, uh, which is a fantastic place. And then uh, you find you're off. But overall, I, I'm not I'm not moaning about it. Um, Playing on stage with great musicians is, is fantastic, and um, you know, being in the studio, being involved in a in a, in a great song or whatever, um, writing songs I love. So um, you know, there's lots of very nice things in my life which uh, which I'm very pleased about. Clapton, Beck, and Page, I guess, have got to be up there in terms of the greatest thrills on stage. Who were the people who blew your mind? Um, I, I suppose, I suppose Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, Jeff was pretty wild. Um, when he might, he blow my mind playing as well as uh, <laughs> some of the things he he get up to. But um, that's another story. But he, he's a fantastic player. Well, let's not wash over that. I mean, was it sexy on the road with these people? Because I mean, they made it fun, didn't they? They were renowned for it. Well, yeah, they did. <clears throat> They did, but um, of course, if, he, if you're all travelling together, you're all young guys travelling together in a, in a van, all getting on each other's nerves, <laughs> all got those little egos going on, and uh, all sort of trying to pull the birds or whatever. You know, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not always that easy. Would you like to go back and relive those days, or are you glad that they're a distant memory? I'm, I'm, I'm sort of tempted to go back. I think, I think in some ways, you know, in retrospect, there's a lot of things we could have done better, and maybe we could have kept the Yardbirds going a bit longer, you know, because we broke up. We were only together for about five years, um, and it was a shame we stopped as we did. But um, in a way, you know, it's past, done and gone, and uh, there's, there's always new things to look forward to. And of course, you were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, um, yes. so that must be a great thrill. And it means that your music had purpose. And I guess at the end of the day, that's all you want to know for your legacy. Well, that's right. And uh, you know, we get honoured by lots of great musicians. Um, you know, um, Steve Vai, Alice Cooper, Steve Tyler. You know, all these people are big, big fans of the Yardbirds and. Uh, it's very gratifying to know that and uh, the, the, the legacy keeps going and um, there's always a good, a good memory and the, the fans have got long memories. Indeed. And in terms of the music, which song are you most proud of? Which is the one that never gets old? I'm very proud of Shapes of Things. Um, I, I think it was recorded in our prime, 1966. It was done in a great studio, uh, Chess Records in uh, Chicago had great input from all the band, had a great guitar solo by Jeff, and uh, it was a good song, the lyrics were good, and uh, I, I, I'm most proud of that one. And going back on tour, how does it feel to stand there reliving those songs? Is it like sort of watching your granddad in your mind's eye? Because, I mean, it was a long time ago. We're talking 50 years since you originally played these songs. Yes, well, the, the, the songs never really age, you know. They, they, they always... They all seem to. I think we were one of those bands where the songs always seem to sound good. It's, I don't know what that is, but uh, 
maybe some sort of luck or the way we did them or you know they they, they still sound good today and uh, I don't I don't really get tired of it as long as I don't do it every night like I used to. Yeah. Are they tricky? I mean, when you look at something like For Your Love, I mean, from an outsider's perspective, they seem very complicated. Have you done them so many times now it's just uh, a walk in the park or are they still oh, tricky? Yeah. yeah, you could do them sort of, with, with, <laughs> not with your ears closed, with your eyes closed. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite simple, you know, one, you know, really you get, you get the hang of it uh, by now anyway. So, um, yeah, they, 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 they sound complicated, and the whole set sounds quite complicated, you know, altogether. But um, it, it, it's, quite, it's quite easy, really, from you, my point of view. You're going to be back playing in London April 15th yeah. in Sheffield too. And I guess for you, it's interesting seeing your audience grow with you because I presume back in the day they were teenagers and now they're your age. Yes. <laughs> yes. Is that strange? <laughs> It's funny because we, we did a tour with the zombies, you know, the other, uh, last year, the year before, and you walk into the hall when everyone's in and uh, and you can see all the bald heads, you know. That's funny. <laughs> Not that I'm any different, but um, <laughs> it's very encouraging because you get some young young people coming down and they've discovered us through Zeppelin because Zeppelin sort of, uh, you know, covered a lot, a lot of ground in terms of fans. Yeah. And a lot of the young, young young people still like them, but they've done their homework and they've traced Zeppelin through to us, and uh, they all come and see us. But they've all got Zeppelin T-shirts on. Would you take me down memory lane and indulge me for a moment with a couple of stories of the greatest moments of your life and career? You've met some incredible people and worked with with some wonderful international heroes. Who have been the best, and what were your favourite moments? Uh, well. We- Getting into the Hall of Fame was great. You know, we we met a lot of uh, a lot of great people that night. I, me- I remember meeting, uh, you know, Tom Fogarty, uh, BB King, Keith Richards, Little Richard. You know, so, you know, it was unbelievable, an unbelievable night that you'd uh, you couldn't believe that you'd meet all those people at the same time. You know, mm. but um, yeah, of course, playing with somebody like Sonny Boy Williamson, a great master of blues, and great great showman <clears throat> and uh yeah meeting bb king um whoever whoever else we met you know chuck berry all all these great blues blues guys were all were all real legends you know uh Bo diddley uh, uh and and they, they were great at what they did and very innovative and they had great ideas and uh great showman and in terms of venues, was there one show that took you aback and made you realise that you'd finally made it? Yeah, I remember doing a show, in, uh, <clears throat> funny enough, in Hollywood, uh, uh, Sunset Strip, and it was one of those days when the band really clicked. It was in a little club, I can't remember what it was called, but um, uh, it was on one of the early tours, probably 66, with the Jeff Beck lineup. And I thought the Jeff Beck lineup uh, was, was the best one, you know, for my money. Yeah. Uh, and it all clicked and everyone played beautifully and you could hear everyone and we, we had sort of light and shade and we had a great feeling amongst the band playing and <clears throat> I particularly remember that gig, it was fantastic, it was really good. I guess that's what they call alchemy, isn't it, when it all comes together and goes yeah. right? Yeah, really, really, really. L- listen, right. congratulations on a wonderful legacy and some wonderful tunes too. You can see Jim McCarthy back on tour with the Yardbirds in 2016. You can go to the website and find more information. Just put in Yardbirds tour and it'll come up. And I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for your time. Great to talk to you. Okay, Alex. Thank you for having me on.